Listen, all I want to say is that is not a waist trainer. It is Spanx for Uncle Tabsy. It was made just for him. So it's fine, Tabs. We forgive you because you're going to need it after today because I have a public service announcement, everybody. Body. Today is World Chocolate Day and to honor this special celebration, Chef Clem is going to make chocolate and oat waffles using 70% dark chocolate. Now these mouth-watering waffles are sweetened with dates and served with lashings of golden honey, something that will get your taste buds jumping up and down with excitement. I really want to go again. It is mm. World Chocolate Day, everybody. World service, uh, service announcement. It is Chocolate and Day. And you get, like, it's on promo, so you buy any specific, like the, the three chocolates and then you get a discount on them as well. I think it's really, really great. So it's never been a better time to get involved in chocolate. I think it's really, really awesome. And even if you're being healthy, you can still indulge because this recipe right now is really good. It's really good. So if you're being health conscious, it's it's the one. Absolutely. Nicole was just asking me now, looking at all of this, what would you take? I was like, I must now be conscious and that I'll just mm. do all of this. Yeah. Absolutely. The oats in there, the dates in there, 70% mm. dark chocolate. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Yeah. You can even enjoy chocolate. Like, like I said, if you're being a bit healthy now, but you want that chocolate kick, dark chocolate really gives you that satisfaction of like enjoying chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot more, it's a lot more, more intense with chocolate. So you actually end up having less which I think is really, really great. So if you want to make like a cool breakfast or brunch or dessert yeah. right now, I've got the ideal recipe. Okay. So into your blender cup, we're going to go with some oats. Yeah. And oats are great because they're low GI, they keep you fuller for longer. It's a great grain to, to use. I'm trying to do this and not miss because I, I will, I will. You, I have faith in you, you won't miss so a one, lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. The one rule I have, whenever I cook oats, like regardless, I always add salt to the oats. Why is that? Salt brings out the flavor of oats. Like you have no idea. Even when you're making your cereal, just a little bit of like, I'm not talking about like... A heap. No, literally just is enough to bring out the flavor of oats. It's almost like what we do when we have chocolate milk. We add a little bit of salt to it to bring out the more chocolate, like chocolate flavors in your chocolate milk. Never ever Science. done that in my life. Oh, absolutely. Any chocolate milk you have, a little, little sprinkle of, even your hot chocolate, a little sprinkle of, of salt, mix it through, you'll see it, like, it just tastes like next level. So to that, we're going to add some bacon powder, and that's going to give us that lightness in our beautiful waffles. And by the way, this is a waffle, we're using it in a waffle machine today, but it works really well as a pancake. So you could definitely check it out, because I know like not everybody has a waffle machine at home, so no. this is a great recipe for that. So just get your eggs in. We're going to go with two eggs. I also like this recipe because, I mean, it just literally everything goes into the blender. I was just going to say that now. You don't have to worry about the dishes or who's going to clean up after you're done. Yeah. Everything goes in one. And if you like you that didn't mess, then it's just even Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we know we, we're very used to like medjool dates. These are zamli dates. Zamli dates. And I suppose this is from another region but I've never used it before besides like, creating this recipe. I was like, I'm gonna try these guys. So you get them at Woolworths, and what's really cool about these is the fact that they literally are nature's little toffee candies. Mm. And they've got the little pip inside, so just, I'll just break it with my hand, take the pip out. They are so decadent, and they taste like little caramels. It's so awesome. So if you're gonna add sweetness to a recipe, why not like add sweetness from like a fruit, and you get like additional flavors from it. So I'm gonna go in with like, Three. I think I need to offer Tabisa one of those because that's the only date he's going to be getting with that space that he's been wearing. <laughs> John King, Tabisa, I love you. We still love you. I mean, wow. you are the most wow. well dressed man on the show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, cool. So, okay. everything's in there. You're going to go with a bit of milk. That's going to be your dry ingredient, your wet ingredient. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can actually use almond milk, rice milk, um, soy milk, oat milk. Keep it, keep it the oat theme. Get it in there. If you were really, really like being pedantic about it, you can add water. What are you gonna do now? Get in there. That color alone. That's all you want to do. So what you can do is you can, I'm using 70% dark chocolate, but you can use any other chocolates in front of you. I'm doing it because I want to be like, sure there's just a healthy alternative. If you wanted to, you could actually blitz up your chocolate with this. I kind of like the idea of just breaking it up a little bit. So as it melts in the waffle iron, mm. you get like little bits of chocolate in there. And I think that's really great. So you can taste and see the chocolate as well. And here's again where I actually see the connection now with the salt in earlier. Uh -huh. The salt and the ch chocolate together paired will just give that finishing... That little finishing touch. So now I sprinkle my chocolate. You can go, like, you can add more chocolate. I kind of like the speckles of, of chocolate as you get in the batter as well. So once you mix it through, with a little spoon. This is such a simple recipe, but it's so satisfying. Like I said, again, if you're trying to be healthy, a treat like this really satisfies and does the Definitely. job. Definitely. So pour it into your waffle iron or pour it into a pan. 
little speckles of chocolate are going to start melting immediately. You close that down, and I swear, about like two minutes later, they come out looking so beautiful. All I want to do to finish it, like normally I would like, if, it, if these were normal waffles at home, I would hit them with like cream, and then make it like a toffee sauce and pour it over. But we're being smart, we're being healthy. So you actually get a beautiful indulgent flavor from using like thick cream, and it's on daily difference right now. So a little bit of that. That's on top. Awesome. A little bit of honey if you want, optional right now. And that's all you need. Just like that, of course, you want to get your hands on this recipe, expressoshow.com. But don't leave your seats because in just a moment, Kat has a surprise for all of us.